Hello, everybody, I am Moldy West, and this is Dark Souls 2 once again. And we join our hero, Quarvy, at the Lost Bastille. Now, Quarvy, what do you have to say to the audience? My name is Quarvy. I come from Russia, and I come with Burr. Now, Quarvy, what exactly is Burr? Burr is old burpee's medicine. It cures what ails you. You get punched in mouth. Take burr. Mouth feel better. Get kicked in dick. Take burr. Dick feel better. Get stabbed in heart. Burr will not help you. Because you dead. I need a little burr myself. Wait a minute. This tastes funny. This is not burr. It's bone hurting juice. Ow. Oof. Ouch. Alright, that's enough messing around with the burr. There's these two treasure chests that just happened to be right next to the bonfire. And they got stuff that I want, like human effigies. That'll be nice. Need some of them to keep myself human. And the dull ember. Not sh not quite sure what I remember if I remember what to do with that. I think I take it to a blacksmith. There is a blacksmith here in the Lost Bastille, but I don't know if I have to take it to him or what, and if I can just... There we go. Don't want to go sliding off the edge. Oh, okay. Life gem and a tight night shard. Hmm. This area seems like a trap. There's a lots of blood around that treasure chest. Blood. Hmm. They all seem to be trying to fight different things and failing. Read the message. Misfortune. Why is it fake? Nope. It is real. Oh, fuck, Pursuer! That's what killed them. Didn't think I'd be seeing you again so soon. But then again, this is Scholar of the First Sin and not regular Dark Souls 2. I would again like to reiterate that. It's also been a little bit since I played, but I still remember how to face the pursuer. Come at me, bro. You missed me. If you just step to the right, most of his attacks will miss. I need some burr. Ow. Haha, -ha. the burr has undone that damage you just caused me. Okay, what are you doing now? Oh, fuck, that's new. I don't remember him doing that. Ah, cursed. God damn it. You mother- Oh god damn it, dogs! Why are there dogs? Eh. Fucking hound. I need my stamina. Eh, dog, dog. I also- I think I'm out of life gems. Fuck. This is not a good position to be in. Eh. Get out of here. Stupid dog. Stupid dog, make me look bad. Ooga booga booga! <laughs> Who else remembers Courage a Cowardly Dog? Stamina, don't you fuck me now. Don't want to get stabbed by that move. He'll lift you up off the ground and curse your ass. Come on, son of a bitch. Don't you fucking cheat me. Eh. Come on. You will stop that. Now, we do the dance. We dance the dance of life and death. And fucking hell. Kind I don't like it when I dodge and he doesn't do what I thought he was going to do. Okay, stamina. Come back faster, please. No. No. And yes. Now back off a bit. Get some stamina. A shield. And a that's not the right move, you dick. Die. Gotcha. Again. Two for two, bitch. Now what you got? Some twinkling titanite. And now I can get the treasure chest without getting murdered. Eh. The cursing in this game, getting cursed, I mean, is not nearly as bad as it is in the first or third game. First or third game, it instantly kills you. Yes. And that ring ain't slowing me down at all. Getting cursed in this one only turns you green, as you can see plainly by Quarby's 
disgusting undead face. Of course, it was already disgusting to begin with, but he had a beautiful complexion, much like me. But it is gone, ruined by that curse! There shouldn't be anything else in this room since those dogs came out while I was fighting the pursuer. Oh, fuck! Get up there before he shoots one of those explosive barrels. All right, you son of a bitch. Do not hit the black barrel. Not with my fire sword. Okay, it's gone. I've nothing to worry about from you anymore. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Now from where? From here, where do I go? Perhaps to that ladder over there. That would be the sensible choice. Indeed. Oh god damn it, it's a mummy. It's a big old mummy guy with a spear, which is actually a machete tied to a stick. Whee! Now I will slay you, you son of a bitch. I would very much like to return to the bonfire to replace my supply of burr. Yeah, I'm still calling it that. The Estes flask is now officially a flask of burr. Restoring my burr is of the utmost importance. And I don't I don't think there's a way of getting back over there. Unless... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like getting back over there is going to work. Rolling ahead and then bonfire ahead. You lie! You, I know, you, I know better. I played Dark Souls 2 before. I know this area very well. It was my grinding spot for a while until I exhausted all the enemies, and here's a friend. What is it? Yes, your name is Luca Teal, correct? All right, she will come somewhere later. Make sure it's a real chest before I try to open it. Don't want to die stupidly. Come on. Give me the antiquated key. Excellent. Treasure. Right. You, sir, are not wrong. There is a ladder there. Good. A good. I just have to be careful, and if I do fall off, it has to be not to the left, so that if I fall, if I die, I'll die from falling to the left. If I fall to the right, I'll be fine, but I'm not falling at all because I got me this Titanite shard. I kind of thought there would be something else up here, something more valuable, but I was wrong. Go now, Quarmy. Go, Mother Russia needs you. Do it for Mother Russia. Ow. You son of a bitch. How dare you. You can blow yourself up all you want, but if you blow me up, that's too far. I draw the line in the sand that is your flesh. Because it's all gross and rotted because you're a mummy. I also got a sword, which I, with which I will draw the line in your sandy flesh. I see you sitting there, mummy man. Gonna have to draw him away from where he is because there's a certain thing that I want to do right past him, and I won't be able to do it if he ruins it. Dark spirit forlorn. Oh god damn it! Is that a fucking player or an NPC? Fucking bullshit. All right, mummy. Get over here. Over this way. <laughs> now we fight. Ah, oh, that still hurt me. Now you die. Mommy dead. Yay. Hmm. And a push of a barrel. And. Damn it, it went off to the right. God damn it, it wasn't supposed to do that. It was supposed to roll straight. And there's a dog. Stupid fucking asshole dog. Now if I can position the barrel just right. And there's another dog. Get away from the barrel, you stupid canine. Okay, you son of a bitch. You're gonna regret that. Now let me position the barrel. I need it to go somewhere. And... I'm having a little... There we go. Alright. Barrel. 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 No. Into the wall. Go into the wall. Stupid barrel. 
And no, 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 no. And run into it. Uh, Alright, stop, stop, stop. I think that's good enough, and... Alright, it worked. It was close enough, it was supposed to roll straight into the wall and blow it up by an impact. But it didn't because it decided to go drifting off to the right. Cannot use bonfire. Why the fuck not? Is it because there's a fucking asshole in my world that doesn't belong here? Seriously, I ought, there ought to be a thing that allows you to just banish people from your world if you don't want them there. It's locked. Yay. Not sure why it's locked. I can just walk around the wall. Eh. Seriously, let me use the goddamn bonfire. It should let you sit down at the bonfire and it would banish any invaders, a invader assholes that shouldn't even be in your world to begin with. Seriously, why? Why? Seriously, where the fuck is this asshole? And why is he fucking with my episode? Really now? Oh, uh, there he is. Fucking asshole douchebag motherfucker. Get out of my world! Take that fucking shit stain. Eh. Oh, really? Suck it, asshole! You died too! Ha! You lose! I win! Still! Stay out of my world! Dick stain. I'm gonna blow myself up to burn you down. Now, if only I had a little more health when I was over there fighting the dickhead that decided to force his way into my world like an asshole. Seriously, there ought to be there ought to be some sort of penalty for forcing your way inside of other people's worlds. If they invite you over to fight, then that's one thing. Then you get to fight at full strength. But seriously. They ought, it ought to, like, completely cut off all healing abilities you have if you force yourself into somebody's world and lower your defense and attack. Forcefully invading is a bullshit. And you, sir, fucked up. You want to try that again and hit a barrel? Want to hit a barrel? You want to hit a barrel? There's barrels here. You can hit them. Oh, damn. Your pyromancy is no use if you cannot hit your target. Eat a dick! Eh? Now do not hit me, got my souls, motherfucker! And now I destroy you! Victory! Ha 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 ha! Above? What is above? Oh yeah, that. I remember seeing that, but I could never figure out how to get it. I'd spend hours running around this place trying to figure out just how to get up there, but nope, couldn't figure it out. Though I did learn the lay of this area quite well from it. Though it's been quite a while since I played it. Since I actually legitimately played a Dark Souls 2. Hopefully this blacksmith doesn't mind me looting his stuff. Visions of Hole. Yes, I can see it. Hopefully he doesn't mind me ransacking the place and stealing everything he has just sitting in these chests. He doesn't seem to mind very much. Hello! Okay, why are you swinging a hammer? I am not a sword. I do not need to be forged. What are you doing? Ow! 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 Why? I just want to talk. Why are you hitting me with a hammer? You, sir, are a dick. Look at him. Dick. Ashamed of yourself, you should be. Ow. Stop being a dick. <laughs> yes, yes, all the blah, blah, blah. I know, he's completely insane, and he's still smacking me around with a fucking hammer. How do you smell flame? I am not flame. I do have that dull ember, though. Do you want it? Yes, you can take dull ember. If that'll make you start doing stuff, then yeah, fine. I don't need no repair powder. Don't want to buy no weapon. Royal kite shield. Hmm. That might be better than my silver eagle shield. 
Indeed, this shield is better than the one I had. Yeah, artisan ahead. Well, he's over there and he's kind of crazy. I think he moves over to this anvil and actually forges stuff after you light that little torch. So let's do that, shall we? Come now, we've a torch that needs a lighting. Come on, light the torch. Yeah. That's it. Dash the stuff. And now I head to the back to Majula to level up, though I should do that off camera seeing how I've only got like not even enough time to actually do anything else in this episode because I've got less than a minute before I must end the recording. Of course, there's nothing forcing me to. I could record longer if I want, but I don't want to because that's the way I just do it. I just record for 20 minutes and then I edit it down. Give you something that's around 10, 15 minutes or something. But anyway, I'm all out of time for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!